He shall send his what? Notice this messenger that was sent to get a bride for Isaac. An angel accompanied his ministry. He said the angel. Now look, he may have not necessarily saw the angel, but he had to have confidence in the prayer of Abraham that when you go, an angel's going to go before you and he will lead the way. Brother, isn't that powerful? I'll get down to something because you're going to see something in a minute. Because the prophet God teaches that the angel of God not only went with Eliezer, but before Eliezer got there, the angel Lord went 30 minutes ahead of him and met Rebecca and got her ready to receive the message. I was thinking about that sitting in the office this morning. We take about 30 minutes before I walk out. I knelt down that chair and I said, Lord, the same way you sit in the angel, Lord, 30 minutes ahead. Send him 30 minutes ahead and get the people's hearts prepared to receive the word of God as it comes forward. Brother, our hearts need to be open to receive the word of God. Brother, one word from God can change our eternal destination. It's not about memorizing all up here. People's done that. They went after legalism. They went after intellectualism and legalism and all these rules and regulations. That's just made people miserable. We're not here to establish a legal affair. We're here to establish a love affair with Christ. Got to get down to that heart in there. And brother, when it gets in that heart, you don't do it because people tell you do. You do it because you love him and you want to serve him.